Elon Musk exposed the most evil business in the world. In this video, we will be talking about how and why did Elon Musk expose the evilest business in the world. So, let's begin but before that, take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, or perhaps Master Musk, the man of many names has always been in the headlines for some reason. That's primarily because Master Musk is not only the richest but also one of the most influential personalities in the world. All his ventures are larger than life and are based to address global concerns, hence, whatever he does impacts the world in some ways. And this is what makes Elon Musk a man of many names. He is often seen part of controversies due to this too, and his tweets play an integral part in dragging him into controversies too. But above all, Elon Musk is a genius person working to the best of his abilities in pursuit of making the world a better place to live and to save humanity from extinction, which is why his company SpaceX is in the race with many global powers to colonize on Mars. In order to make humans a multi-planetary species, hence if one day our Earth reaches its end or perhaps is inhabitable due to a nuclear war, then humans have a place to survive. Elon Musk's ventures are extremely extraordinary considering that he is a single person taking on such big challenges, just for the sake of humanity. At the same time, there are critics out there who underappreciate Elon Musk, which does upset him at times. A recent release of some metrics did good to just continue to upset Elon Musk and frustrate him, and this time, Elon's frustration was fueled by S&P 500's ESG rankings. But before I tell you more about it, some of you might be thinking of as to what the S&P 500 ESG rankings are. So first let's just understand that. S&P 500 is one of the most followed equity indices. S&P 500 stands for Standard & Poor 500 and is the stock market index which tracks the performance of the 500 large companies in the US. Its ranking guides about how well or poor a company is performing or has performed over a certain period of time, allowing investors to make effective decisions. One of the indices of the S&P 500 is the ESG Index, which stands for Environmental, Social & Governance. This index takes into account the environmental, social and governance practices of large corporations to reveal how well and responsible a firm is, which then ultimately becomes a suggestion for investors to invest their money in. And considering that the S&P 500 has been ranking firms for the past 65 years, their rankings do matter as they have gained enough confidence over the course of decades. Hence, if they go on to remove a firm from their top 10 rankings, it would certainly affect that firm in some ways. And that's exactly what they did for Tesla and trust me, that annoyed Elon Musk greatly. But Tesla's objectives and performance contradicts with what S&P 500 has to say. Tesla is a company that has always promoted means of saving the planet from environmental and social challenges. Tesla has worked in the most efficient ways to introduce energy efficient and environmentally friendly products for everyone, ensuring that their products are accessible for everyone, and that all of them align well with the initiatives to save our planet and counter the climatic issues. Tesla's primary aim is to produce means of transportation which are not reliant on finite resources of Earth and don't contribute to climatic issues which is why their products use green energy and are all electric. They have done well to produce sedans and trucks that make the best use of AI and are based on modern technological systems and are in no way inferior to the conventional engine-powered cars. A few years back when electric cars were making a debut in the world and when the electric car industry was not as exciting as now. The power source of electric cars was a big issue, as their batteries were not powerful enough to drive the cars for longer periods. However, Tesla even overcame that barrier by extensively researching and over time has worked out solutions to improve their batteries in such a way that now Tesla's vehicles offer impressive driving ranges that are propelling electric cars to fame. Given all these facts and accomplishments of Tesla, it is evident that Tesla has always done well to make it all the more eligible to be ranked in the top 10 of S&P 500 ESG, which it was however recently, their releases showed that Tesla was removed from their top 10 ranking, which upset Musk a lot, as there was no reason to remove a firm such as Tesla. However, what the ESG rankings further revealed went on to add fuel to Musk's frustration, the ESG ranking included the oil behemoth ExxonMobil Corp, which made the list sound slightly absurd, considering that it is one of the world's most worst polluting companies according to Musk. When Elon Musk saw this, he couldn't refrain from taking things to Twitter again and that's when he tweeted, Exxon is rated top 10 best in the world for environmental, social and governance. While Tesla didn't make the list, ESG is a scam, 
it has been weaponized by phony social justice warriors. This clearly proved that Elon Musk was in no way satisfied with what the S&P 500 ESG rankings showed, which further consolidated the fact that why the Tesla CEO has never been a fan of the metrics used by investment funds. Elon Musk might not have been bothered by the removal of Tesla from the top 10, but the inclusion of Exxon Mobil Corp bothered him a lot because Exxon is in no way performing better than Tesla environmentally, which suggested that Tesla's removal was not based on fair metrics but instead a non-fair play of ranking. However, on the contrary, the S&P 500 had factors supporting their decision to remove Tesla from the ESG list. Let's take a look at what the S&P 500 had in their defense. According to the S&P 500, their annual update to remove Tesla from their list was as a result of Tesla's lack of low-carbon strategy, which means that although Tesla has always promoted and worked in pursuit of transitioning the world towards sustainable energy, it hasn't done enough to track its own carbon footprint and reduce it compared to its peers. This greatly affected Tesla's score overall for the ESG. This suggests that although Tesla has a fair motive, their business didn't meet up to the expectations and Tesla didn't appear to be as environmentally friendly as the other firms ranked in the first 10 of the ESG index. However, that's not the only thing that affected Tesla's score. Instead, according to the S&P 500's spokesperson, reports of racism and poor working conditions at Tesla's headquarters in Fremen, California were widespread, which suggests that although the company seems united towards a common goal, conflicts do seem to be a reality among Tesla's infrastructure. Additionally, Tesla's poor code of business conduct was another matter of concern for the S&P 500, which they believe was a vital matter in that there were others which were performing better than Tesla in this regard, and hence, it would have been unfair to not remove Tesla from the ESG's top 10. If statistics are to be considered, Tesla was ranked 22nd in the Toxic 100 Air Polluters Index compared to the Exxon which ranked 26th. This tells us that although Tesla might be working for a cleaner and safer world, it still contributed greatly to all those environmental issues. On top of that, Tesla has no firm policies and law within their infrastructure to promote a rather productive working environment. So in a nutshell, according to the S&P 500, Tesla might have retained its position after May 2nd had the firm addressed its issues and acted to prevent it from happening again. However, Tesla didn't. Now, it does sound logical what the S&P 500 has taken into account for their rankings. Elon Musk still believes that the ESG rankings are in no way judging or tracking performances of the firms in the correct way and that they focus more on the negative aspects of companies without considering that positive part of a company. Elon Musk believes that for such metrics to be effective and valid, a company's positive influence on the world should be taken into consideration more significantly than their flaws. Had that been the case, Tesla might have been in the top 5. While Elon Musk in his entirety sounds logical, S&P 500's rankings do seem correct according to their standards. But at the end of the day, it's all about the ideology and the school of thought. Today, the world has no doubts in believing the fact that Elon Musk is a gem who is working for humanity's sake, and that his company Tesla is doing a great job. With that being said, I'll have to conclude this video. Do share your thoughts about the ESG rankings in the comments below and share with us who you think is right. Is it Master Musk or the S&P 500? Before leaving, take a moment to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next video, until then.